While the Space Lab missions were being conducted in the 1990s, the International Space Station was being developed. The methods used during and the successes of the Space Lab missions at the HOSC pushed the boundaries of Marshall's areas of responsibilities. That happened as the Space Station Task Force assigned Marshall the job of developing and operating a similar facility for the Space Station. The Payload Operations Integration Center, or POIC. Well, basically in Space Lab, the users were happy just to get their data. I think that's the easiest way of uh, explaining it. On Space Station, uh, the computer technology had changed so much that there was a high expectation of what, what needed to be provided and how it was going to be provided. In addition, they, were, they requested a lot of additional services that we just weren't used to. And because the Space Station program was changing so rapidly at the very last minute, uh, we had to make these changes happen very quickly. Because science teams could not be expected to move to the POIC for extended ISS operations, the enhanced HOSC system and its associated Telescience Resource Kit, or TREK, were designed to provide control center services, voice, video, data, and command to remote users across the internet. As the station was still being assembled, Payload operations began with increment one in the year 2000. And uh, Huntsville Alpha has you loud and clear. Okay, that's great, Shep. Um, I'm speaking to you today from the Payload Operations Center in Huntsville, Alabama at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Now, I'm very pleased to report to you and your colleagues today that the International Space Station Science Command Post is now officially open for business. Since payload operations began, the HOSC systems have processed hundreds of trillions or terabits of data. Additionally, they have supported dozens of science teams at remote sites around the world. Each month, over 2,500 commands are sent to the space station. There are two things that you have to look at when you look into the POIC. You can see the people that are executing the flight support activities. Those, those are the folks that make sure that everything is happening for payload support and, and making the users achieve the maximum thing that is possible. The other thing you look at is the technology and the equipment that is in the room, the voice, video, and data infrastructure. Those are the things that actually enable the people in that room plus the users remotely to get their job done. To help the user community even more, a payload data services system was also incorporated. This captures and stores the 50 megabits per second science data until users transfer their data packages to their own facility via the internet. The space Station is a large orbiting laboratory with a lot of different users and a lot of various needs. And so we had to build a very generic infrastructure that would make the users very happy with what we could provide to them. In parallel with the International Space Station, Marshall was developing the Chandra X-ray Observatory. The HOSC was initially intended to provide the Chandra Operations Control Center, and the enhanced HOSC system design incorporated the Chandra requirements. The decision was later made to locate the Chandra Operations Control Center at the Harvard College Observatory, where it resides today. However, the Chandra OCC still uses a tailored copy of the enhanced HOSC system for data and command processing. In 2003, the Data Reduction Center, from which the HOSC evolved at its beginning, was integrated into the HOSC organization. The Data Reduction Center has been at the core of launch vehicle development since the early days of Marshall, and it was the birthplace of HOSC capability. This reorganization brought full circle Marshall's core capabilities for receipt, storage, and processing of flight data. Although the HOSC is a story about the exploration of space, scientific research in space, and the evolution of technology, it is also very much about people. The HOSC was made possible by the NASA team of engineers, scientists, and operations personnel who over the years dedicated parts of their lives and careers to it as seen throughout this story. The young people need to have the chance to build those stories. 
uh, tell the, the crazy things they did, the, uh, the innovative things they did uh, that no one thought of before. Uh, it's, it's, their time is coming up. So much like clockwork, the people who have, who are, and who will work in this rather plain government building complete a circuit linking space age technology with the innovation that no machine can match. And they have done so since before there even was a space program and all under one roof. The information technology of the Haas will continue to be a communications bridge uh, between engineering, operations, and science and will be an enabling tool for future Marshall programs as their needs evolve. Well, I just hope they keep up the good work because I think one of these days we are going to go back to the moon and on to Mars with human beings and it's going to take big rockets to do it and, uh, and Marshall is a place where it'll happen.